Yo, girl! Ha! Hey, 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 hey! What? 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 Who? Who? Huh? What? Huh? Who? Can't hear you. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, so guys, welcome back to the channel for all the newbies. Welcome. <laughs> yes. Alright, guys, you know what? Quick, quick, quick. Pause the video. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now. Two seconds. Go on. Yeah. Alright, cool. And for all the OGs, welcome back to the channel. Your girl Tashi here. And today I'm going to show you how to slay this hair. Trust me, I'm going to teach you step by step how to slay this beautiful goddess right here. So guys, if you want to see how I get this hair from uh, this to this, continue watching. Alrighty guys, so these are the things that you're going to need to slay that wig. You got to be free spray some wipes. You're gonna have your rake brush, razor comb, a tail comb, some scissors, some hair clips, and of course a concealer closest to your skin tone. And all of them, I gotta get your hair laid to the gods. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Mm hmm May I may I go into extra now, but I'll see you in the video. Bye. Alrighty, guys. So the wig that we're using today has four combs. It has three on the top part where the frontal is, and it also has one in the back. Those combs, you're going to make sure that they're secured once you put it on your head. Now, this is the natural state of the wig. It also comes with two straps in the back and what we're going to do now we're going to make sure that those straps are nice and snug so we're going to clip it at the extreme end which is the tightest one there is all right because you always want to make sure that your wig is sn snug on your head so it doesn't really move or fall off Okay, so what we're now going to do we're now going to comb the hair back from the lace and we're going to cut off any excess lace there is now i had already clipped the extra lace off but now we're going to trim off the extra one that i'm seeing because i want it to be a little bit more precise so that's what we're doing you're going to take the lace off and i know people have different method on when to take the lace off you could glue it on and then take it off i just find it easier to do it this way so you know exactly what you're playing with so again we're just going to clip off any excess lace that is around the frontal area of the hair yeah you know I look really really crazy, but sis gonna teach you how to slay to the gods. Alright? Like a real professional. So if this is the natural state of the hair. Natural state, it's not laid or anything. We have our ball cap on. We're just going to pull it back for a little bit. And we're also going to wipe off any excess makeup that is around the perimeter of your hair. So that when we're laying it down it lays flat and fast okay why look at look what this so crazy <laughs> but anyways we're gonna get to it we're going to get some wipes i know what wipe will do and you just remove any excess makeup dirt or whatever that may be on your airline so you just do like this easy anything that is there and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to take some of these clips these ones and I'm going to pull the hair back out of my face 
to make sure that I have easy access to style this wig yeah wig school so the wig is not on or anything we just flick it on first thing first we're just going to wipe off the excess makeup that is around our hairline right good then we're going to make sure that the back is secured now the wig has four combs two on the top part and we also have one at the back now what you're going to do for me you're going to flip the wig and you're going to make sure that the three that's up top is secured then you're going to use the one that's in the back pinch it in your hair and you're good to go then yeah that need to hear yeah trust me you're gonna be a wig professional after this see me I know I have a bumpy hair too. Come back every time if you don't want up close to the one bump coming on my head. Whoa, face, why? Anyhow, we secured the combs in our hair. So first thing first, you're going to make sure that your hair is either catch up in the back or you can braid your hair. Any old natural style, as long as it lays flat and then you're going to have a wig cap over that. And I already did that. This is my wig cap. Everybody, so we're ready. Alright, so once we've wiped our excess makeup off around the what well, yeah, airline, we are now and of course remember we cut the excess lace off so everything should be nice and seamless. You're going to make sure that you're measuring up the hair to ear to ear to make sure that it is in line and you don't want to cut off any excess pieces all right so yeah so use the comb i'm eating here and again i'm going to put this back so i could have access to the lace itself and guys don't be scared of this you know because trust me this is so easy i'm going to show you how easy it is this is the hair and i'm going for a side part but before i even get to the parting i am going look at i'm just doing so much on answer my shirt but anyways we're going to lift the lace a little bit pull it back and you're going to get your got to be free spray I know that they have the gel form you can use that as well but I feel like this is more effective and it's super duper fast so yeah this is what I'm going to do you're going to spray and once I spray I use my fingers so I like to take my fingers and distribute the product so that is evenly distributed and everything <coughs> and this is really really cold guys really really cold so yeah Whew. and again this is the ball cap so this is going to make you look like banana here and anything but yeah then I use my fingers to tap that in. Yeah. Again, I want my cap to be nice and smooth, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Don't want any rough edges over it. Alright, and I like to go back in with another coat, especially where I'm going to have my parting. And you use your finger, you can put it on the ball cap as well. You use your finger. <coughs> use your finger to spread it out and I think that should be good enough you leave that to get a little bit tacky just a little bit then again I have to fix this to get it out of the way then because I have on the fan 
Guys, as you know, it's super hot. You're going to pull your lace over to where you're comfortable. Yes, try not to press it too much with your fingers. I rather use a rat tail comb so that it looks nice and seamless. So you're going to get your rat tail comb, which we call tail comb here in Jamaica. Right? And you're just going to comb through right where you lay the lace. So you're basically pressing it in, but you're using the the comb instead of your fingers. In. Now you go to the side again, and while that gets tacky, I'm going to move to the other side. Boy, you're going to pull it over. Nice. See that blend in your skin? Yeah. Sus. You are gonna look hot. Pull down, and again, the more you pull side to side. The other side might pop up especially if it's a snug wig so you're going to make sure that you hold it down firmly like for a couple of seconds and then you should be good right and for beginners this might be a little bit challenging but don't give up oh, don't give up and again you're going to do this side you're gonna hold down to the sides and then press it in like a bit <laughs> you kind of have the basic down so we're going to again spray use our fingers and you're going to tap it in so it gets a little bit tacky here yeah. And then you can take the excess and put it elsewhere. You, you see lace like lifting up or something. No? Okay, you want to look like it coming out of your scalp. Your band with zits. Yeah. Let it dry for a couple of seconds. About 10 to 15 seconds and you're good. Because the freeze spray is really, really, really effective. So you don't really need to keep it to dry that long. I'm going to take away any flyaways hold it down for about 10 seconds and for the persons who are asking I'm not wearing my usual lashes I'm wearing <coughs> individual lashes so yeah boy boy all right yeah that kind of look all right you know then you're going to go to anywhere that you see that's lifting up a little tip look at chops why that cold and you put it in there and you're going to get your comb again and you're going to press it in press it in press it in press it in at this point for the places that are more dry than others you can use your fingers but not too much yeah yeah and guys, if I hear talking in the background, I know I a family day or something. <coughs> yeah, eat here. Yes, so I'm going to pull that. And you want this to look as natural as possible. So you don't want to bring it on your forehead too much or anything. So what I now like to do while that is soaking in, grab my hair up. I take my little clip, right? I take my little clip, grab clip, take that away, and then I use a scarf, preferably a silk scarf, anything silky. And this is one of my favorite scarfs. Anybody know me knows I mean I always have this from my head. But here it is. This go a long way. And I like to fold it because it's big because I just want to get the edges or they have the paper stuff that you could use to tie it around and I have that right now so I will improvise so I tie that around there tie it a little bit 
and I'm going to do this away from my face while I work on the parting of the hair well I think I think I want the parting a little bit more down so leave that for a couple of minutes and then you should be back and it should be laid a little bit and then get ready for making baby ears and everything now we're going to work on the parting of the hair then we'll make baby hair if we feel like making any baby hair and stuff yo tell me Santa out of my scalp this our girl yo good girl you have use Alright, so I think I want a side part. This was a side part, but I like it more deep. You know? Deep. Deep, deep, deep. Malika? Deep. Alright, so you have to watch the lace. As far as the lace go, that's as far as the parting can go. Alright? I think that that is the parting that I'll be working with yeah that is the parting that I'll be working with today yes nice and look how seamless that is look girl you just look tell me say Anna in my scalp this I grow from talk truth Jesus not so talk truth girl you have used no go again look just look at that just take a look at that tell me say Anna to me scalp this a girl girl you have use so okay with look nice already yes so I'm going to go step by step so I don't really need much baby hair to be honest I might just do a little swoop here and that's about it don't need much baby hair because I made it a little bit ruffled so it gives you that natural look you know that natural baby hair flow you know and I just leave it like this yes and in the back you can pull it down because you know look at granny hair hear them around the back that show really really yes so I might just do a one two swoop here one swoop here so I take a little bit of the hair and I use my razor comb cut that off and then I take my mousse this is the coconut mousse olive oil that I use so nice the reason I use this mousse is because I hate using the regular mousse because it gives the hair a uh, um, stiff look and I don't want my baby hairs to look stiff I want them to look nice and natural you know they look over there like still I eat here <laughs> nice and natural swoop it a little bit just a little bit that's when you see how thin that is really don't want it to be thick you understand what I mean and just go and play with it till you get it to your liking. Mm -hmm. so again, I get my mousse. Put a little bit there. I have some more, so I can just put it here as well. I take a little time, make it baby here to your liking. Yeah. And swoop it there. Voila, Lord of God, girl, you have use. So, that's that for my baby here. I don't want anything else. I don't want anything too dramatic. Fix about that one here. Yeah. yeah, girl, you right there. Just right there. So, what I'm now going to do, I'm going to take my concealer. And this is in my exact tone. I mean, I already bleached the lace off the wig but i'm going to go back in with some concealer 
to make the parting a little bit more defined clean that up a bit no no it look look any different use the rest peel part of the comb clean that up a little bit this is just a little trick that I came up with myself I don't know if anybody knew about it before I did but yes just to make my parking look a little bit more realistic understand can me understand yes girl so now I'm going to take my spray bottle and this is just any old spray bottle you can get from any Chinaman any beauty supply store I got this a long time ago and this is my holy grail but what is inside currently is just water all right and then I'm gonna spray the hair take a little time spray it and comb spray and comb with your fingers remember take your time you don't want to pull the hair too much at least not yet because you just laid it and I want to get that fluffy but smooth and crispy natural curl look so I want it big but not too big you know what I look with it and you comb it out as you go along and again guys it's curly here so it's going to shed a little bit i'm going to leave the link in the bio to where i got this wig and everything so you could purchase yours not really a short wig personally not to be honest i think this our short here period yo yeah eat ear shake you're gonna take your little time and do this to your liking take your little time and then you get your rake comb or rake brush that is you rake it out to give you a little bit more volume you see that and you go back in with some more water girl Make sure you get the back part. Make sure you get the back portion of the hair. Make sure you get the front portion. And this hair, you could style it any how you want, you guys. If you wanted a center part, you could do a center part. If you wanted a half up, half down, you could do that as well. So it depends on what you're liking, what's your preference. And yeah. Alright, so I want to look at problem spot. So when you find problem spots like these, it just goes off shoo. And again, shoo. Fix. Done. Gone. And what I like to do with my curly hair, I like to braid the front. Braid the front a little, just a little. And then pull it in the back. Um, me can't braid. Me I tell you the truth. Me can't braid for save my life. So I'm just do some little twisty twisty. Me can't do anything else in here. You get a bobby pin. Pin that out of your face and voila go back in fix your little baby here make your little perfections and so forth and stuff if you want to wet the sides again you can yo the hair feels so good Yo, this looks so cute. Oh, who you have used? 
And I'm going to keep on working it until, you know, I'm not feeling myself, so I'm just wetting it still. I'm tired. Now, what I want to do now, because obviously it's just water that I'm using to wet it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some conditioner and I'm going to moisturize that in my hair so it keeps the curl at the state that they are right now. All right. So the conditioner that I'm using is the Tresemme conditioner and this is in moisture rich or rich moisture, whichever way you want to pronounce, go call it or whatever. So Tresemme my holy 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 grill with my natural hair and also any fuzz here with my mom you know it's for some all right so i put this much in there there we go and i just rake that through and i do the same thing to the other side the back should i get the roots I get underneath here. It's girl. 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 No, for now, let it down. Get some conditioner in there. Get some conditioner in there. Yeah, boo. <laughs> girl, you have use. I might just cut this into a layer. So it's nice and layered but maybe at a later date or something and then I get some water in my hand this time rub it up shake it up put it back in the hair Ooh. yeah my hair look nice just like how I bump it on my fire look nice yes and guys i do not like to use grease in my hair so i'm not going to put any grease or anything because it already gives it the shine and the conditioner that i use is the rich moisture conditioner so it gives it that nice shiny look because the reason i don't like to use like eye sheen too much in my hair or vaseline or that that is because it's going to weigh the hair down you understand i make it have that little cakey look and that's not what i want all right so what you can do now from here on you could either go back tie the scarf and make your baby hair lay even flatter but i like this natural look you say look natural talk to it you know talk it to it this not look good i not like this look good so this is how you slay your wigs guys that is your curly wigs if you want to see me do, do more wig tutorials let me know in the comments god i got me not done good thing i want this guy if i anything expensive me done it me done it all right guys i'm gonna put you into a nice airing on combat and make show you the final look this is the final look of the hair let me do some hair modeling for you feeling like when they hear just do anybody else get that feeling like talking to me excuse me eh? <laughs> so guys this is the final look final look and again I will put the link to the hair in the description well not the link but 
the site on which I purchased this hair. Um, like I said, me a good day tea with everything. Everything that make it look nice, I'm gonna give you the tea too, baby girl. Okay, so this is our human hair, and this is in the I think it's water wave. Water wave. I, I don't remember the exact um curl pattern or whatever, but I'll put it in the description down below. I am gonna be here, you know. Yeah laying the wigs as usual i love wigs because it's nice and easy i hate my natural hair it's so thin and stuff so click on a wig and go about your business and good to go yeah and you know i don't normally wear short hair do i no i don't think i normally so there you have it ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna whip up my shirt again and Yo, I look a style of cute to them. I look a style of cute. One day we can do that. I look a style of cute. I look a style of yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, if you want to see more hair tutorial, more wig installment, more styling of wigs, please leave it in the description bar below. Let me know because your girl got you. I'm gonna teach you how to slay. Remember, this is a fashion makeup lifestyle video and i'm all about beautification you know what and i like when the girls slay so me, and i would have bump and do me not lie but me not make she stop me can't stop feel a wig here nice me not lie me don't buy nothing one no of good quality me i tell you the truth and me not go buy nothing too expensive either you yeah, understand to kill myself but i want it inexpensive but yet still good quality you understand what i mean and it might take some time to search and get these so as a result i've started my own company which i'm going to tell you all about it in the future good things are come good things are come so i'm going to help out the system for finding here on affordable prices and because rona in the building right now make things and launch and, and take off but no worries no worries Got you. Oh, you know, you look about you girl when I hear naturally stay like this. I saw me for you, <laughs> yes. So, guys, um, just leave in the comments what future hair videos or what future videos overall you'd like me to do on this channel. I'm here for it, I'm here for tea and hair for it. You know what I mean? You get it, you get, you get it. You're not getting no. I'm here. So, anyways, yes. So, this is a nice little way how to style a wig. If you have the money, if you got here, dress up, you get it done. And trust me, it's nice and firm, but your head is not moving. All I need to do is tie it down when I got your bed with the same scarf thingy. Put it in our nice bonnet, and you got your bed. If you want to see one look at nighttime routine of wearing your wigs, are keeping your wigs for a day or two keeping it styled leave it in the comments yeah leave it in the comments so i can do those videos for you no anyways so guys this is it it's growing from my scalp again you could go up close and personal yes and everything mm -hmm. yes so guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned we have big things coming for Tasha Lee TV just keep praying for your girl anything we do we put God in the mid I'm just have to work take me a little time to watch nobody feel me peace I'm my peace you understand what I mean me not, nobody see nobody and jealous you know so I'm not gonna lie I gotta say yo I'm thing but Bill thing I got shot here so guys continue to pray for me pray for this channel um i'm praying for all my supporters as well i know this is a rough time that we're going through and everything but we're gonna make it true we are gonna make it true people then they make it true too they 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 they, they are trial and tribulation then back in the bible days and all and moses bringing people them to the red sea so god god i can bring you through corona you understand what i mean so enough rambling 
I'm going to leave you with a positive note. Continue to live, love, laugh, share a kind word with somebody. Be kind. Please learn to be kind because we're, we have people out there that are really struggling and you're not knowing and your kind word can be so helpful to them so just be kind continue to love your neighbors as you would want somebody to love you all right and this here is just giving me life yeah girl yeah <sighs> you know the extra way to like i'm so tired <laughs> but anyways guys thank you so much for watching remember to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one guys Bye.